Okay, so week two on the carnivore diet. This is gonna be fairly short, sweet, and simple because it is late and I am tired. <laughs> um, also, there's not a whole lot to update with. Um, I know last week I was talking about the thing that I was struggling with most was probably buying the groceries and having a little bit of variety in my meals that I was eating. Um, and that did not get better this week just because um, my job, it got really busy at work. So lunches were really scarce. There was even one day that I went 24 hours without eating unintentionally, which I mean, I know fasting is a thing. So I just chalked it up to a fast, but I also had cold brew. So <laughs> um, I think I've started implementing more small doses of dairy um, like heavy whipping cream in a cold brew type coffee drink or even trying it in my English breakfast tea. So I didn't like it in the tea, but I like it in the cold brew. So, um, and then snacking on some cheese bites. So that's new for this last week. Um, I will say this last week, my stomach's had more issues maybe it is the dairy so maybe I'll have to do a week where I do none like this week I've done dairy and maybe next week I won't we can try it um but in the beginning of the week I had some like my stomach was still getting used to just eating meat um but then I had some eggs with um hot coffee this morning and my stomach my gut was not happy but I don't really know exactly what it was at this point. So anyway, the the variety of food has not gotten better for me. I'm hoping that that changes. Um, I've been doing pretty okay with not having cravings or really like being tempted to eat anything else. And I've been on this two-week diet through a rodeo. And then today was our family's 4th of July party. And there was cake. There was... Um, chips and pulled pork sandwiches which are my favorite and I just had a chicken thigh and some plain pulled pork with just seasoning on it um and I did okay I ate enough to the point where I was full and I did not feel like I needed to eat anything else even when the dessert came around like sure ice cream looked good but I wasn't sitting there like salivating over it so um I feel pretty proud about that and that I've been able to stay strong. Um, that whole first week I was on it, I had I had that breakfast sausage with the sugar in it. So I think I kind of like weaned myself into this diet, which is probably pretty ben beneficial. So anyway, um, the grocery shopping has gotten better just because I now know to look for sales. <laughs> That's probably been the biggest thing I've learned is keeping an eye out for meat sales and just shoving it in the freezer and then always having something on hand because what I've noticed is I it is just me and I'm single um I'm living with my grandparents currently but they're not on this diet as well so it's been just me kind of making my own food which is totally fine but cooking meat for one person it's a little difficult because I I had a roast almost every day for the last week because it's what I made. And I would rather do like roast and then have some like chicken and then move to like steak bites or even just some steak and then go to like some burger patties and then back over to like pork chops and all that kind of stuff. So I just, I didn't plan well this last week and that was it, I could tell. So I need to get better at that and just pull stuff out of the freezer. Even if I just cook them and leave them at the freezer at my job so that on my lunches, if I forgot something or if I just have the same thing I had the night before, I can have some variety. So variety is big and playing with the seasoning is big, but I've learned that um, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and paprika are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> they've been what I've used on everything and they're amazing on air fried chicken thighs so good um other than that I don't think anything has really changed I have lost a little of weight um a little of weight a little weight um nothing significant it's been like six pounds I think in the last two weeks now um that's more than I did the month before um I have changed a lot of eating habits though I used to go out quite often 
drive through on the way home because I was feeling lazy or the quick coffee and breakfast sandwich in the morning or anything like that. So I did go out quite a bit. So it makes sense <laughs> that once I go on a diet and stop eating out, it changes. So anyway, um, I did have my first experience of going out to eat. We were about to go on a six hour drive and we went to a Philly cheesesteak sandwich place and I just ordered plain meat <laughs> and uh, it was good. I did forget that I could have had some cheese on it and I was a little disappointed that I forgot about it, but it was still good, filled me up and I didn't have any cravings or hunger throughout the drive. Um, and I've done pretty good with that kind of stuff. So anyway, I think what I'm looking forward to in the next week is to have better variety and to plan better because I'm a planner. I love to plan. So if I can just like plan out what I'm going to cook when, um, and take to the office for lunches and then what I'll have for dinner that night. I think it's going to, I think it'll work a lot better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm looking forward to for this upcoming week. And I just, I'm, I just took my measurements. So now I'll be focused more on my measurements rather than my weight. And I'm also looking forward to my stomach not being so in adjusting mode or whatever. <laughs> um, oh, the other big thing that I've noticed that I've talked to my mom about, because it's me, my mom, and my stepdad doing this diet, is that um, usually, or I used to have to get up every night to go to the bathroom once, maybe even twice, just to go to the bathroom. Uh, nothing urgent, just to go potty. And um, I don't have to do that anymore. It's weird. And my mom's noticed the same thing. And... Um, I wake up having to pee a lot, but I don't wake up in the middle of the night having to go anymore. So I'm sleeping much better. Um, I would say that my energy hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, and I don't feel weak, really. And I can tell that how I feel hungry has changed as well. So usually before the diet, when I would get hungry, it would be like a pit in my stomach and I would be like, sick and then it just would get worse and then I would just get grumpy and hangry and it was just like I would feel awful and I couldn't make decisions I couldn't think nothing since I work in an office and it's very busy once I get hungry I can feel it and there's a little pit and I'm like I should probably eat something but then I get focused on work and it goes hours without me thinking like oh yeah I need to eat something and then it goes hours again. And so keeping yourself distracted was one thing that was said in one of the videos that my mom sent me in the beginning. And I was just like, okay, whatever, you're distracted, but you're still going to be hungry. Um, no, <laughs> I, that's how I went the 24 hours without eating. Cause I just like, I was distracted the whole day because I was so busy. And I think that that was really cool that my hunger feelings have changed. So, um, I think that's kind of it. I think the biggest proud moment for me this last week was being around a lot of people that were eating a lot of really yummy things. I got invited over to dinner at a friend's house and they made burgers and they were like, oh, you can have it in a lettuce wrap or put some veggies on it. And I was like, no, just the meat, please. <laughs> and I felt really good. They were all eating some really yummy stuff and they had like a soda next to them. And I was like, oh, that'd be yummy. And then especially here today at the 4th of July party that we had, um, I wanted to try some stuff, but I did not. I prevailed. <laughs> so I feel pretty good about it. I don't necessarily have any cravings. The one thing that I think I've wanted the most is popcorn. I've always loved popcorn, but it's just like that snacky snack. So, but I found some little like beef jerky sausage sticks that'll be like snacks for me. Not constant, but they'll be snacks. Um, and then pork rinds. <laughs> which I have found that I really don't like, but if you only have like two or three, it gives you that kind of crunch that you're missing by not eating chips. So if you have to have a chip, have a couple pork rinds. And then after, if you don't like them after a couple, you'll be pretty <laughs> over whatever craving you're having. So anyway, that's kind of the summary of week two. I was going to have my mom and stepdad in this video with me, but um, it's late. So everybody went to bed. So that's what I'm about to do. Uh, pass out. So I will do that and I guess we'll talk in a week.